Hello everyone. Validity is an important aspect of the research process, including the research process in social sciences. What is validity and how can we establish validity in the research process are important questions um, and such questions are often on the minds of student researchers and junior researchers. So in this brief presentation, I would like to touch upon these two questions. The what and how of validity in quantitative research studies, especially research studies that follow survey research designs and experimental research designs. So let us first see what do we actually mean by um, validity. Generally, there are two ways in which we can look at the meaning of validity in quantitative research. The broader meaning of validity and the specific meaning of validity. In its broader sense, validity actually refers to the authenticity and accuracy of the process and product of research. More specifically, validity actually means the authenticity and accuracy of the data collection and analysis processes and tools. In other words, validity refers to the extent of accuracy of measurement of a concept in a quantitative study. Now we move on to the how question of it and here we will also discuss the main types of uh, validity in quantitative research studies. So generally there are three types of validity in quantitative research. They are the content validity, the construct validity, and the criterion validity. First of all, what is content validity? The content validity actually is the extent to which the research tool adequately includes content related to a variable. That is, because generally quantitative research studies in social sciences revolve around the measurement of variables in order to establish relationship be between variables. So the extent to which the research tools um, that are aimed at measuring those variables actually adequately include the content related to that particular variables um, is generally called the content validity. And for example, is the tool in line with the scope of the variable being studied? In other words, um, what characteristics of the variable um, that, that actually make, construct, um, or structure that particular variable? Is the tool, the research tool, um, has the research tool actually um, accurately measured that particular variable, uh, variable in terms of um, the, the, all of its aspects um, or the range of its aspects. Now this is something that comes in the content validity of that particular uh, tool. So in other words, content validity also referred to face validity is generally ensured through, through peer review or expert review. Um, and so the junior, junior researchers or student researchers or peers actually prepare the tool and then they seek the advice of the peers of senior peers or experts regarding the validity of, um, of the content that has been covered in, in this particular tool. And so this type of validity is also called phase validity. Now the second type of validity is the construct validity. Now what is construct validity? 
This type of validity means that the research tool or instrument measures the concept or construct that it aims to measure. So construct validity revolves around the central question and that is does the instrument measures the construct that it should measure. The construct actually means the variables that the researcher wants to explore in a particular study. So, for example, a test or a tool that is aimed at measuring emotional intelligence um, in a particular study, if it actually measures emotional intelligence, then it has construct validity. But if instead of emotional intelligence, it, it rather measures general intelligence, in that case, it does not have construct validity. So construct validity, therefore, is the attribute of the research instrument to actually measure what it is aimed at, what construct it is aimed at measuring. Now we move on to the third type of validity, and that is, um, sorry, we are going to also discuss some of the indications of construct validity. So. How actually would we know that a particular instrument has construct validity? So there are certain characteristics, certain indications that, that could show that the particular instrument has construct validity. And the first one is homogeneity. The instrument measures a single construct. So generally, an instrument that measures a single construct rather than more constructs is something that will be homogeneous and this is something that will aid to it, its construct validity. Um, then convergence is another of its characteristic and that actually means that results are like those from other similar instruments. So an instrument that measures for example intelligence. Um, if it actually measures only intelligence, it will have homogeneity. And similarly, if it, it will have convergence, if it measures intelligence like other instruments that have been developed and that they, uh, um, they are aimed at measuring intelligence. So if the results are similar from both of these, there will be convergence and so this will be an indication of construct validity of our instrument. Then the third one is theory evidence, which actually means that results of data based on the instrument are like those available in relevant theories or and in literature. And that actually means, again, giving the example of uh, the construct intelligence, if the instrument we use come up with results um, regarding the characteristics of intelligence that, that are similar to those that are available in previous theories and literature, in that sense, um, this, will be, uh, the, this will be an indication of theory evidence or in other words, the construct validity uh, evidence. Now we move on to the next type of validity and that is actually the criterion validity. Now what is criterion validity? Well, any other standardized, what, so first of all let us, let us uh, uh, understand what is criterion. Criterion is any other or standardized instrument measuring the same construct. Um, for example, if there is a standardized instrument or a previous instrument that is aimed at measuring intelligence, that could be taken as criterion in the particular study that we are conducting, um, conducting right now. And so a correlation between measurement of the variables through the research instrument that we have developed and the one that is used in as, a, as the criterion, um, stronger correlation between them will actually mean criterion validity. In other words, that our instrument has criterion validity. 
So there are three types of criterion validity again, convergent validity, which actually means that there is strong correlation with instrument measuring similar variables. So there are instruments, other instruments, that are that, that, that actually measure similar variables that our instrument uh, is aimed at and there is strong correlation between the results of these two this will be convergent validity divergent validity actually means that there is poor cor uh, correlation or weak correlation or maybe no correlation with instruments measuring different variables so let's say that the instrument that we have developed is aimed at measuring intelligence rather than emotional intelligence. And so an instrument that is aimed at measuring um, something, some other construct, uh, both of these instruments actually have poor correlation and that is something that will actually indicate the criterion related divergent validity. And then predictive validity, what is this? This actually means strong correlation with future criterion or the ability of the instrument to predict future performance on a criteria, uh, on a criterion. And this actually means predictability of our instrument um, of a stronger correlation with a criterion that will come in some future. Uh, performance of the subjects on whom we have actually used this particular